First, understand the basics. The Earth's core isn't a simple solid or liquid sphere. Let's delve into the core of the matter. Our planet's core is divided into two main parts, each with its unique composition and characteristics. These are the solid inner core and the liquid outer core. The inner core, despite being subjected to immense pressure and scorching temperatures that reach thousands of degrees, is solid. It's primarily composed of iron and nickel, and with a radius of about 760 miles, it's slightly larger than the planet Mars. Then, we have the outer core. Contrary to the inner core, the outer core is in a liquid state, even though it's still mainly iron and nickel. It's the intense heat and lower pressure in this region that prevent these metals from becoming solid, creating a turbulent sea of molten metal that extends about 1,400 miles from the edge of the inner core. Now you might be wondering why these core layers are so crucial. Well, they play a significant role in generating the Earth's magnetic field. The movement of the liquid iron within the outer core generates electric currents, which in turn produce magnetic fields. This interaction between the electric currents and the magnetic fields creates a self-sustaining dynamo effect, consequently giving birth to the Earth's magnetic field. This magnetic field is not just for show, it's a protective shield that prevents harmful solar radiation from reaching the surface, making life as we know it possible. Without it, our atmosphere would be stripped away by solar winds, and the surface would be bombarded with high levels of radiation. So, we've established the Earth's core is complex, but how does it rotate? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating dynamics of our planet's core. Picture this, the Earth's core spinning right beneath your feet. A mesmerizing thought, isn't it? Our planet's core isn't a static lump of metal, it's in constant motion, spinning around an axis just like the Earth's surface. The Earth's core is separated into two parts, the solid inner core and the liquid outer core. Both layers rotate, but they do so at different speeds. It's a dance of dynamics deep beneath our feet happening every moment of every day. Now let's talk about speed. The Earth's inner core rotates faster than the surface. It's a phenomenon known as super rotation. While the Earth completes one rotation in about 24 hours, the inner core outpaces it, completing its rotation slightly quicker. So if you were somehow able to stand in the Earth's core, not that you'd want to, it's hotter than the surface of the sun, you'd experience a day that's a fraction shorter than what we're used to on the surface. The outer core, on the other hand, moves a tad slower than the Earth's surface. It's a fascinating contrast, isn't it? The inner core zipping along while the outer core takes its time. It's a bit like the hare and the tortoise, but with layers of molten and solid iron instead of furry creatures. And what about the direction of rotation? Well, both the inner and outer core rotate in the same direction as the Earth, from west to east. This is called prograde rotation. It's the same direction in which most planets in our solar system spin, and it's the reason why the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Now imagine if all this rotation were to go in reverse. Picture the inner core slowing down, the outer core speeding up, and both spinning from east to west. What kind of world would that be? Well, stick around because that's exactly what we're going to explore next. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But could the core really rotate backwards? To answer this question, let's delve into the realm of theoretical physics and geology. The idea of the Earth's core counter-rotating, or rotating in the opposite direction to the rest of the planet, has been a topic of much scientific discussion. Think of the Earth's core like the engine of a car. It's continuously running, powering our planet's magnetic field and driving plate tectonics. It's a dynamic system, not a static one. The core is not merely a spinning ball of iron. It's a complex fluid dynamo, that's in a constant state of motion. Now, some scientists propose that under certain conditions, this dynamo might start to rotate in the opposite direction. This counter-rotation theory isn't just a wild guess. It's based on mathematical models and simulations of how the Earth's core behaves. But what could potentially cause such a dramatic shift? Well, it's believed that massive seismic events or shifts in the Earth's gravitational pull could potentially trigger a counter-rotation. However, we're talking about events of colossal magnitude, the kind that happens once in a billion years. And what would be the effects of such a phenomenon? That's a bit harder to predict. It could cause significant changes in our planet's magnetic field, which could have far-reaching effects on everything from our compasses to our climate. However, it's important to note that this is all highly theoretical. While the maths may support the possibility of a counter-rotating core, 
It's not something that's been observed or proven empirically. It's a fascinating concept, a scientific what-if that challenges our understanding of our planet's inner workings. In essence, the idea of the Earth's core counter-rotating is a testament to the complexity and dynamism of our planet. It's a reminder that there's still so much we don't know about the world beneath our feet. So, a backwards rotating core isn't as far-fetched as it sounds, but what would it mean for us? A core spinning in reverse sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of hypotheticals to see just what such a situation might entail. You see, Earth's core is a massive dynamo, generating our planet's magnetic field. If the core were to rotate in reverse, it could potentially disrupt this magnetic field. This isn't just about compasses pointing south instead of north. The magnetic field shields us from harmful solar radiation. Without it, life as we know it could be in serious jeopardy. But the impacts don't stop there. The rotation of the Earth's core also influences our climate. The heat from the core drives convection currents in the mantle, which in turn, move the tectonic plates. This motion has a profound effect on our climate. A backward spinning core could disrupt this system, leading to drastic climate changes. The precise nature of these changes is hard to predict, but it's safe to say they wouldn't be in our favor. Now consider the cumulative effect of these changes on life on Earth. It's a grim picture, right? Entire ecosystems could collapse, species could go extinct, and human civilization as we know it could be irrevocably altered. So, a backwards rotating core could have serious consequences, but don't worry, it's not likely to happen anytime soon. Today, we've journeyed to the center of the Earth, exploring the mysteries of the core and its rotation. We've plunged into the depths to understand the structure of the Earth's core, a complex, layered sphere with an outer core of molten iron and nickel, and an inner core of solid metal. We've seen how the core's rotation drives the dynamo effect, creating Earth's magnetic field, and we've pondered the intriguing question, could the core ever rotate backwards? While this seems unlikely given our current understanding, science is always evolving, always questioning. We've also contemplated the potential impacts of a backwards rotation, from shifts in the magnetic field to possible climatic changes. These are questions that challenge us, inspire us, and drive our scientific curiosity. Remember, the Earth's core is still full of mysteries, 